Good morning, everybody. It is New Year's Day. It's New Year's Day. Mm. And I need a Barocca. Right, so got over the hangover. Oh, last night was pretty crazy. Anyone was watching my Instagram story for uh, my other YouTube account would have realized that. Anyway, right, so I've got to get over this next big hurdle today. Obviously being a normal human being, I decided that I'm gonna do a live YouTube video for my channel, uh, Plumber Parts, and give away a big prize. So we're giving that away today. Nice big Tech XL bags, about 300 quid. Oh uh, no, they're expensive. They're not 300 quid actually, I'll tell a lie. So that's what I've got to do. So I need to get everything set up. I need to get OBS set up, which is the broadcast software that we use, and a load of other stuff. But I'm gonna stop saying anything now because the battery's gonna run out and it's gonna ruin this take. So, let's get on with this. Right then guys, the first and most important thing when you're setting any kind of filming or footage up is not to make the mistake that I'm making right now and relying on the camera's auto settings to sort out the bad light. As you can see, if I go over here, it's not really dark, but if I go over here, you know, you're waiting for the camera to catch up. So the most important thing, if you're going to spend any money on making videos on YouTube or, or anything really, I highly recommend that the first thing you do, the first thing you buy after you've bought whatever camera is to buy some lights. Who is it? I can't remember. Someone always said a camera is a light devouring device. So feed it, okay? Don't try and cut light down. Um, and that's really, really important with YouTube videos. And it's something that I've sort of try and live by is like get the lighting right. So uh, let me just pop you guys over here. So I've got a secret little beast of the trade here. This is an Edelkrone slider. These are absolutely amazing pieces of kit. So you can automate slides along a rail like that and make it go really slow. This is a target module, so you can say to the slider, uh, we want to look at that beam over there, that's 80 centimeters away, and then as it moves one way or the other, it can sort of move and point at it. So it's really, really handy. The good thing for me is a lot of the work that I do for my other channel is on my own. Sometimes at a customer's house, because I'm a plumber, and it's difficult to to have you can't really bring a crew with you it's just not really feasible people just get the ump so to have that moving camera aspect in the background is a really really good thing that actually brings me to another little tip Whatever money you earn out of your channel or whatever you do, in reinvest it back in your equipment or in making your channel better. That's something I'm a massive believer of. Or, or every time I've had any money around, <laughs> left over after the month, mortgage and birthdays and bits and bobs, I'll always spend it on equipment for the channel. So guys, let's get over this first hurdle. I've still got a headache. <laughs> Right, so look, you see how amazing that light is? It's so goddamn bright, guys. So here's my sort of usual setup when I'm doing instructional videos online. You can see me in the mirror just over there. Hey, guys. So we've got this monitor here, but we also have this monitor down here. This monitor here I use for red peaking on focus. So then we use our focus ring down here, right, to try and get those red spots. Once you get those red spots like that, you know that you're in focus into that area. If I'm talking to the camera, we do have someone actually filming with us. I can see where I am on the camera here, like that. You see there? The actual camera operator can also see. And then there's another like final thing as well. You can actually look down here and, uh, and actually see through the eyepiece as well. <laughs> But I'm gonna disappoint you, okay? Um, OBS, the software that I use to live stream, isn't 100% reliable, and that's a real shame. And it's actually easier sometimes to use an app called Wirecast directly from your phone to basically do a stream. One thing I do have to do now, though, is pop down the road and pick up the car from last night. Uh, while I'm doing that, I think I'm gonna take the drone out as well. And we can have a little ying around my miserable, wet, rainy, horrible village. Still got a headache, still have haven't got over the hangover. Gonna go and buy some kindling and light the fire. Get that going. Hopefully then it'll be four o'clock and I can do my live video on my other channel. Walk of shame, pick the car up. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I charged the battery out for the drone and then forgot to put it in there. But I bought some kindling, George. So that was an absolute complete failure. Going out, I thought, oh, I'll go and get the car, go and take the drone down there, take the camera. And one of my mates is across the road talking to his dad and his dad's like, oh, what are you doing? And then seriously, drones attract people for some reason. They just come over. The first thing you say, you always get, oh, do you own a license for that? <laughs> Not even the battery fully charged up was really daft. So that was a bit of a pain in the bump. And George literally, he lives on this sheepskin rug and he waits for that fire to be lit. So I'm gonna, I'm literally, mate, I'm going to do what you want me to do, man. I'm gonna light you your fire. George, why did you get so bite, Emily? He's tried to bite me straight away. The cat is so grumpy at the moment. Has he been fed? So that's the problem with Big G, he gets hangry. Open the damper, shut your door, and watch her float. Hell yeah. Right guys, so this is the setup that I've got for this live stream. We've got a Sony AX100E beast. This is the camera I've used for years and years for my other YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm all important, a cup of tea. And then as you can see up in here, look, look, OBS. Oh, I can't get round. So we've got OBS here on the Mac. This is gonna allow me to sort of walk around the house and give a little bit more of an interactive kind of thing, feel to this little live video that we're gonna do. A lot more chilled out. So you're gonna go now and I'm gonna get on this live video. You can probably watch it if you pop over to the Plumber Parts channel. It might still be up there. If not, I'll see you in a minute. Right then guys, all done. 40 minutes worth of live uh, chatting, answering people's questions, and I think in the time that we watched, I think the most amount of people we had watching at one point was about 100 people, which is really cool. Big G does what he always does. He's When the camera comes out, right, when that beast comes out, he is like, what are you doing? I don't want to be here, run away. But you can never keep George away from that fire. A successful live video, and I'm very, very pleased. And so is my boy, ain't you? Yes. Hmm? Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> this boy is such a ledge. Mm. It's an absolutely beautiful moon out there tonight. Uh, and I want to try and use my Panasonic HCX1, which is the beast in here, in a low light situation. So I'm going to take that out there and have a look now, okay, and see what we get. Let's see. It is me, I can see. But how cool would it be if we mounted the camera on the edelkrone and got that moving effect at the front of the, the actual image? So we've got the moon in the background and then those lovely twigs all out of focus or maybe in focus in the foreground actually moving. 